Zadrizes Buzdari Sosdal. Hey, real quick video. George R. R. Martin did an interview. Well, uh, kind of like an interview. It was like a live event to uh, sort of promote the Rise of the Dragon, which is basically a repackaged Fire and Blood, but with amazing art, right? So he was doing that through Random House, and it was like a private uh, video here on YouTube that I was actually given the privilege to attend thanks to one of my patron members, Brianne Johnson. It's amazing. Thank you if you're watching this. Um, but there, George was talking about the book. He was talking about a lot of his favorite stories that he loves to tell in the interviews. But one thing he answered, he, he does a QA and a towards the end of it. He answers Random House question, or I guess they were fan submitted questions of how far are you along in the Winds of Winter? George, George gave us a solid update. He mentioned how it's annoying as soon as Winds of Winter comes out, people are gonna be asking for a dream of spring. Yes, we are, right? It's been 10 years since the last book, but he's three quarters of the way done. Now you can take that one of two ways, right? Traditionally, before House of the Dragon came out, before my fanhood was kind of satiated, I would be like, oh my God, it's getting so close. It's, it's gonna be here soon. We may even get it during the time that House of the Dragon comes out. I hear you, baby. <clears throat> But that, that's, that's one way to take it, right? So you get super hyped and you can say, okay, it's going to be here soon. Another way to take it is that three quarters of the way means he's still got a whole quarter of the book to finish. And one thing he kept doing in that interview was mentioning how massive the manuscript will be for the book. Um, he said he doesn't want his editors or he, he, he's not looking forward to his editors wanting to split the book into two parts, which is probably what's going to happen. So we'll get Wins of Winter Part 1, Wins of Winter Part 2, right? Um, but ultimately, since there's still a full quarter of the book to go, another way to look at it is like, man, we're a solid year out for any actual like update on getting close to Wins of Winter, right? So I'm like in between those two, you know? Um, like I said, I'm completely like still satisfied from House of the Dragon, like obviously I want season two, but the season was so good and I'm currently re-watching it. I'm currently re-reading Fire and Blood and also Feast for Crows and then World of Ice and Fire. I'm sort of always going through World of Ice and Fire. It's amazing, right? But I'm kind of, I'm at the moment satiated. So I'm in between those two. I'm hyped that we're actually getting, this is a solid update. Usually George says I finished Cersei's POV or I finished T Tyrion's POV, which is what his updates consisted of earlier this year and last year. But this is him literally saying I'm three quarters of the way done with this book. So that means he's probably finalized a bunch of chapters. He's literally working his way through the last little bit of the book. Right, so that's kind of where I'm at. And, um, it's really amazing because you gotta realize we get this update right after House of the Dragon ends, you know, a day or two after it ends, and then also we have the Game of Thrones convention, which is probably gonna be the first place they announce progress on where the Jon Snow show is. And also, I'm pretty sure they haven't announced it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's from progress to green light. Like they've probably already been filming. They wanna keep that show under wraps and announcing it at something like the first ever official Game of Thrones convention. It's going to be at the LA Convention Center, uh, I think December 9th and 10th, right? I would love to go that, but I have two children. It would it would be too hard to try to try to do that, right? Uh, also, I can't afford it, but um, it would just be amazing if they, you know, release news about the Jon Snow show and then we got another update with wins where George is like saying in person, hey, I'm three quarters of the way done with the book. I am, you know, trying to get this out to you maybe by, uh, we'll have a release date for at least next year or something. That would be amazing to get. And like, it kind of would be really uh, of a promotional boost for the Jon Snow show as well. We get another announcement for Winds of Winter. George is finishing the progress on that. Some of the material that George wrote in Winds could potentially be adapted for the Jon Snow show. Like, they skipped over so much in the main Game of Thrones TV series and skipped over so many characters. It'd be very easy to pull people that were never mentioned or anything in the TV show and make them part of the wildlings that Jon went north of the wall with and that's what the story consists of. I recently became a fan of uh, my idea of basically an heir like that's the big thing with the house of the dragon show i hear you lukey and with the game of thrones show is that uh there's there has to be a, a solid male heir to sit on the iron throne and guess what bran can't have kids so what if this whole Jon snow show is about john coming down uh you know from north of the wall right he passes through winterfell he goes on the king's road and the whole show is about him and his son lone wolf and cub traveling to king's landing so that he can sort of take the place of bran i know that's lame 
I know that sounds corny, but ultimately, halfway through the journey, Daenerys shows up and kills his son, and now the wars just broke out again. I don't know. That's all I got for right now. You all let me know if you have some ideas about what this Jon Snow show could be out down below in the comment section. And then also, let me know how excited you are for Winds of Winter. George, like I said before, has recently, um, you know, some of his more recent updates from earlier this year said that he's finishing Tyrion and Cersei POVs. When you, when you hear something like he's finishing Tyrion, Tyrion has the most POV chapters than any other character in the books. I think he's got somewhere around like 50, right? When you, when you hear that, you're like, oh, wow, that's solid progress. So, uh... I know not is is king for when the winter gets ah. please subscribe please consider checking out my patreon if you enjoy my content and then also i'm gonna be doing a live stream on thursday at 12 30 noon uh eastern time to discuss the entirety of house of the dragon season one so please join me for that i know not please stop liking this video like it was gonna be 420 and also subscribe turn notifications on